New York City, 2001. No tall building had ever collapsed primarily due to fire. But that's exactly what investigators believe happened to the 47-story World Trade Center Building 7 on September 11th. According to a three-year comprehensive building and fire safety investigation just completed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST. UC Burning 7 World Trade Center. I didn't know it at the beginning, at the tape you're about to see. I didn't know it was the 7 World Trade Center. But I know it now, coming back, a four-block radius has been cordoned off because fire officials expect that building to collapse. I've been within 10 feet of that building within the last 15 minutes. I've been as close to where no one wants to be. Take a look. Looking like a free school just moved to cover the glass door, I swear to God. But you got a good shape, right? That's a good shape. Then we went back there. Whoa, 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 whoa! The outside shell of the building fell. The NIST team found no evidence that explosives were involved in the collapse. And our analysis showed that even the smallest explosive charge that was capable of bringing down the critical column in the building, had it occurred, uh, we would have seen sound levels of 120 to 130 decibels about a half a mile away. You want to call, you, you call your mother or something? Right now. You gotta get back. Yeah. You gotta get back. All right. The four one should have taken the. Hours after the attack, many smaller explosions rumbled through downtown. At ground zero, running in the streets is the only form of escape. But on those same streets, the chaos and vibrations couldn't be avoided. Wall Trade Center 7 collapsed because of fires. We really have a new kind of progressive collapse that we have discovered here, which is a fire-induced progressive collapse. In fact, we've shown for the first time that fire can induce a progressive collapse. When you think that, that, that part of the component of news coverage around the country every year is the excitement and the fun that people get watching an old building being demolished and they wired very carefully for days and it's a very careful operation in order to make sure that the building comes down safely i think the last one we saw was when they brought down one of the old casinos in las vegas i mean this is just stunning to see these things come down and then late afternoon 5 p.m. still another building collapses seven world trade center <laughs> I told you that sucker was going to go. That's coming here, isn't it? What, the cloud? Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. About an hour after the actual explosion, which was about 9.15 in the morning, if you wanted to calculate a time to cause maximum disruption, you would calculate that time as the start of the working day and perhaps the biggest, busiest complex uh, in the world. That's uh, 47 stories tall there. You can see it going. So this happened, oh, some uh, six hours or so after the collapse of the World Trade Center. Presumably, it was so close to the World Trade Center that it had been weakened by the explosions and the collapse of those buildings. I remember getting a call from the uh, fire department commander. 
telling me that they were not sure they were going to be able to contain the fire. I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull. And then we watched the building collapse. And since the, the most recent collapse, which happened just a short while ago, Building 7, a 47-story building, is part of the World Trade Center complex. This is Building 7 in the World Trade Center uh, area is, is collapsing. Uh, now whether, uh, we, don't, we, we don't even know whether this was uh, something that was uh, engineered for safety reasons or it just happened uh, as a consequence of the, the two collisions this morning. Understanding that that building had been evacuated when the collapse occurred. This was known as Building 7 of the World Trade Center, and that is fresh video you're looking at of that coming down. Now, again, uh, they were able to get everybody out of that building before it collapsed. So <clears throat> I don't know whether it was, whether it was uh, accomplished by uh, demolition experts or whether it just happened as a consequence of what occurred earlier today. It's that building number seven was going to collapse. That appears to be what has happened now. I, I don't know exactly how many stories the building is, Dan, but, but standing at the base of it, watching it burn about an hour ago, it looked to be something on the order of 50, 60 stories, as you said, a very, very large office building. It was a, an abrupt, total, and complete collapse at the speed of free fall. Um, in fact, you were just uh, told by police that you should move out of your um, apartment, Fabiana. Yes. You've got Carolina here? Yes. Um, they, they advise us to leave because we have... Oh, my God. Look behind us. Please pan in this way, please. Be careful of your baby. This is it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. No. We're... Listen. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. We're okay. I think we're okay. Ashley, I think we're okay. Building 7 ablaze at the moment and apparently getting ready to collapse. certainly did, and then moments after Vince and his crew left the scene, this happened. The collapse of World Trade Center number seven. Looking at the tape now, Joe. Okay, good. Uh, this once again happened only within the last few minutes. We saw one of those smaller buildings just fall to the ground. We had heard earlier that it was structurally unsafe, that the buildings surrounding the Twin Towers had not been safe. The adjoining Seven World Trade Center crumbled. Thousands injured. A death toll may have... In fact, we've shown for the first time that fire can induce a progressive collapse. One of the most important uh, members of the foreign policy establishment in the Clinton administration, now an independent uh, consultant, as people in government tend to do when they leave government. Um, it's been hard this morning as we continue to look at the smoke and the dust drift up from a crime scene, as John Miller called it, which we cannot feel in any intimate way on television, only through our reporters and through getting closer in and talking to the cops and the firefighters and the survivors. But we will in time get in there. But in the meantime, we've been trying very hard to figure out all of these airplanes. We are getting information now that one of the other buildings, Building 7 in the World Trade Center complex, is on fire and has either collapsed or is collapsing. And I. I you, to be honest, can see these pictures a little bit more clearly than I, but building number seven, one of the buildings in this very large complex of buildings that is the Trade Center, there were, the, there were, and that is the right way to put it, there were the two towers, but then there are a number of support buildings around it, uh, retail spaces, restaurants, office space, garages, uh, the trains come in from uh, New Jersey, bringing commuters, taking commuters back, come into the complex that is the World Trade Center. 
And now we are told that there's a fire there and that building may collapse as well as you can see. We were watching the building actually because it was on fire, the, uh, the bottom floors of the, the building were on fire and uh, you know we heard this, this sound, it sounded like a clap of thunder, turned around we were shocked to see that the building was, uh, uh, well it looked like there was um, a shock wave uh, ripping through the building and the windows all uh, busted out and you know it was, it was horrifying. And then uh, you know about a second later the bottom floor caves out and uh, the building followed after that and um, we saw the building crash down all the way to the ground. Um, you know, we were in shock. Folks standing here on the corner of Leonard Street and West Broadway. We were just sitting here watching all the smoke pouring up from uh, number seven. Number seven is the kind of reddish brown building that's uh, towards the north end of the complex. And uh, although we really couldn't see much damage on it, there was smoke pouring out of it here for hours. And uh, folks just kind of standing around, milling about it. And then I wasn't watching. Uh, I just could tell from the reaction of the crowd what had happened because I'd heard it already before. The gas, the screams, people immediately turning and starting to run, even though we're probably a dozen blocks from the the center itself, people starting to run away from the scene, and I turned in time to see uh, what looked like uh, a skyscraper implosion. It looked like it had been done by a demolition crew, the whole thing just collapsing down on itself, and another big, huge plume of uh, gray and white smoke shooting up into the air, and then uh, more of the smoke billowing up the street here. So uh, that's number one, number two, and now number seven that have come down from this explosion, and uh, folks just simply can't believe it. It's amazing. A, a amazing, incredible, pick your word. For the third time today, it's reminiscent of those pictures we've all seen too much on television before when a building was deliberately destroyed, destroyed by well-placed dynamite to knock it down. Doctors rushing to help people. Emergency workers were moving cautiously toward the building. This firefighter was trying to rescue people from two World Trade Centers. Like, what did it feel like? Uh, very hot, pitch dark, couldn't see almost anything. Almost crawling on your feet. A lot of debris everywhere going. Uh, a lot of rebar, a lot of gla broken glass, a lot of brick. Uh, just n not really too much smoke at the time, but a lot of debris. And what about the people? Uh, people, there are people in there. Yeah, here's one of the guys, he can tell you I'm okay, all right? Here, hold on. You want to oh. call, call your mother or something? Oh, you gotta get back oh. to you. Oh. Mom, you know that, you gotta right. get back. Yeah, all right, right. Don't, 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 don't worry about me. You need to make calls yeah. right now. Yeah. All right, that's Closer to the building, it was almost like nighttime. What was left of the building was a fiery hulk. The firefighters thought it might collapse. Pieces of the building kept falling. The building is about to blow up, moving back. Rescue workers pushed people away from the scene. We are walking back to the building, about to blow up. The flame, debris coming down. So everyone moved back, leaving debris and silence. Looking like a free school just moved a couple of glass I swear to God. What are you going to put in there? Just a good shit. Then we went back there. Whoa, 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 whoa!